<laughs> we are live from the West Shining Studio. It's the Samsung Blogger Lounge at South by Southwest in Austin, Texas. I'm Cheryl Lazard. Joining me, um, Alicia Malone from Hello. Bandango. We want to introduce our next guest. Sure. I'm really excited because I love this movie, Fresno. Yeah. So we've got Natasha Leone, Jamie Babbitt, and Corey Carey Tornetto. There you go. Welcome okay. to What's Trending, you guys. Okay. Was Fresno worried about the, how you're going to represent them in the movie? Uh, you know, I um, I am on the internet, and <laughs> it happens. <laughs> so while I'm when I'm on there, I look at things, and uh, I often I see you as uh, related to this movie. A lot of people being like, "Don't mess with Fresno," <laughs> yeah, right. which definitely it reads like a threat. You guys, yeah. <laughs> heads up. I mean, so you're online, you see all this stuff as someone's oh, yeah, acting. I see it's... all kinds of stuff online. Believe me, believe me. <laughs> And so, how do you react? Because this is, in the end, it's it's a dark movie, but it's still a comedy. Well, I was a little bit paranoid, I have to say, <laughs> last night when we, I saw the movie, and then when the title comes up, it's all, it's very funny, very funny title of Fresno, and it's just like a pit of dirt. <laughs> <laughs> and I was nervous for your life yeah. in that time, but it's gonna be fine. I'm from a terrible town called Cleveland. <laughs> Um, and I grew up in an underdog city, so I really responded to be living in an armpit and wanting to get out. And when we decided to make the movie in California rather than Cleveland, I thought about what is the Cleveland of California, and it really is Fresno. The thing that I loved about this movie was it has such uh, interesting female characters, complicated, not always likable. Was that the intention from the start? Yeah, I mean, just to write a character that... Uh, most women don't get to play, and they're kind of peppered throughout the whole movie, but mostly it's uh, Judy Greer's character is not someone that, you know, she does, she kind of hates everything, so it's uh, kind of based on my sister. But I think Judy is so incredible in this movie of really telling that story, which is uh, of sort of, you know, what, it, what it's really like, like a, a role that women rarely get to play, which yeah. is, you know, not apologizing for being sort of uh, not thrilled with being alive. Well, I think whenever I see funny movies about women, I get really excited, and Bridesmaids blew me away, and I was like, how many amazing, funny women were in that movie? And I love that it was a comedy about female friendships, which is also something you don't really see, and so we basically wanted to tell a movie about sisters who want to kill each other. From my point of view, I think I've had this really privileged thing of... Uh, being surrounded by so many incredible women like all the time. I just think it's such a great time for women like Amy Poehler and, and Lena Dunham. And there's just so many exciting, you know, things going on right now. Of, uh, it feels like a really good time. So maybe more than any, even being about um, women in comedy and that seems relevant, it just feels like that's the most exciting thing happening right now just as voices in general, you know, because you know, of course, it's a, you know, a really dark, depressing life, and I don't know how men got the upper hand way back when, but, you know, it's going to end and die soon, and hopefully some of them will stick around, you know, so we can use them for what we need them for. Um, reproduction and such, and just general pleasure, or whatever, ideas now and then. Um, <laughs> And well, we're excited to have you here, and uh, it's a great story and a great statement to everything that's going on right now, and you guys are all fun, so thank you so much. Fresno is the movie. Definitely check it out. Um, thanks for stopping by. What's Trending? Mm -hmm.